I'm Rosie, a senior product engineer here at Zero Height, and today I wanted to show you our new and updated design system adoption features. Let's take a look. So, what is Zero Height adoption? It's a two part feature that allows you to understand how your design system is being used in code. The first half is package adoption. This is around whether or not a code base in your company is up to date with the latest version of certain packages. These can be design system component packages or more generic ones like React. The other part is component usage, which dives into how components are used within those code bases. Let's get this set up and see what it looks like. When I hit get started, I'm offered a few different ways to get set up. I'm going to take you through this top option here with the CLI tool because it boasts the most benefits. I'll run through those later. However, if this isn't the right option for you, you're also welcome to set up this using code repositories and public NPM packages. When I go through, the first thing that it wants me to do is install the CLI. So let me grab my terminal and then I can run you through using the CLI. Once you've installed the CLI, the first thing you'll need to do is create an authentication token. I'm just going to name mine CLI token. When I hit generate, you'll be given your details. These details are for your whole team. However, you'll only be shown them once, so make sure to make a copy if you're going to need them again. The first thing we need to do is authenticate. You can see that it would like my client ID from the UI and my access token. Once that's authenticated, it'll ask me if I want to store it locally, which is helpful for running other commands, and it'll also confirm that it's been installed in a UI of the website. We'll hit continue. The first step is tracking your design system packages. This could be something like our design system package of Flapjack components. It might be where you keep your design system components, your tokens, anything like that. The only requirement is that it's set up in the style of a package and therefore has a name and version in your package JSON. Once again, I'm going to run this command. And as you can see here, it's found the details of my package. It has a name of zero height Flapjack components and it has a version of 1.1.9. I'd like to send that to zero height. Once the details are sent, you'll see the UI update saying that it's found that package. We'll hit continue. This is where you get into a bit of a multi-step process and we have two options. One is to monitor your repos and the other is to then analyze that repo. I want to monitor our main app. So I'm gonna jump back over to that and I'm gonna run the monitor command. So what that's just done is sent all the packages and their versions that are being used within that repo and it will match them up behind the scenes with any packages I'm tracking in zero height. The next command we have to run is analyze. This is where we'll look at the actual component usage within this repository. This process can take a little bit longer as it's scanning through all your files to find the use of various different components. Once it completes, it will tell you how many it has found. I need to give this repository a name so that zero height knows what to call it. It's found 9,831 components. You can click yes to show more details, in which case it will run through all the different components it's found and in what files. Then if we continue, it will send that usage data over to zero height. And as you can see, zero height has received all of that data. So let's jump back to just using zero height. We'll hit finish and it will take you back to your dashboard. Here you can see all of that data that we've just collected put into one nice place. At the top, we have package adoption, and it shows that we've got our Flapjack components package at version 1.1.9, and our app is using the latest version of this. We can go in here and add further repos to monitor. This means that they don't all have to be done via the CLI. If my package was not up to date in my repo, it would show a warning or an error here. This should allow you to start a conversation with the teams that own these repositories to see if there's any issues or reasons why they're not staying up to date. In the bottom section, we have component usage. As you can see here, we have three components that are broken down. We have a text input, which is being used the most, and an autocomplete input that's being used the least. The helpful thing about these is we can actually dive a bit deeper into the details. As you can see, I only imported the data today, so we only have one data point. However, we allow you to go over a data range of the last 90 days. We'll also be able to show you how it's being used within different repositories if you have multiple imported. The thing that's great about this is that you're able to see which your opponents are the most used, but also which ones maybe aren't used and therefore don't need to be maintained. You can also see how new components are being adopted, as well as how de deprecated components are being removed from code bases. The real pros of using the CLI tool instead of using any of the other setup methods 
is that you can get a much regular flow of data. The CLI tools can be used within build scripts. This means that every time a repository is built and deployed, you're able to send data directly through to zero height. This will mean that your dashboard can stay super up to date. It can also help get around some of those security concerns that certain teams have, as we don't need access to your full GitHub library. Instead, you'll run these tools locally within the repositories that you would like to, and only the data that you want is sent through to zero height. We hope that that walkthrough has helped you get started with Zero Height's adoption features. They're currently in beta and we're definitely seeking as much feedback as possible. So if you have any issues or you have any ideas of what could be better, definitely get in touch with us.